Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion, the game I remember, with me, Get Daved. We have uh, an opportunity on our hands. And I think if I'm very careful, I can destroy their home world. Ah. It's tempting to go fast. We gotta gotta resist that temptation. We're gonna go nice and slow. Also, off camera, I've changed my mind. I know this is I know it's stupid, but the scouting is only gonna be a distraction. All right, gotta stay level-headed here. Recap our tech situation. Been away for a little bit. I don't think we have any major techs coming through anyway. When the escort is pretty good, uh, unless we're like super outnumbered, which is, you know, a thing that happens. And Terry's, uh, good luck, buddy. Okay, good, I was afraid he was loaded with bombs, or actually, I was thinking death spores. <laughs> Yeah, and we're gonna load it up. Your name is Damocles. Named for the very safe situation you dwell in. I know I could use the fleet re relocation function. I know. Move all of the people. They don't have any, like, they don't have an economy anymore. They have one planet, and we know that it was reduced to mineral poor. So, in theory, they should be forced to scrap ships? No, they can probably do quite a bit with what they've got. Oh, that was control radiated. But they're also cheap. Atmospheric terraforming would be nice. I don't have any hostile... Wait. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. There's a bit of a chance that could be a radiated one. Boy, if I had some scouts, I could just send them really quickly to go check it out. That's not going to make a huge difference. That might have blown it. All right. Hopefully... I'm going to send another wave of transports, actually. As tempting as it is... Man, this place regenerates people quickly. It's very nice. Uh, Earth does not have a shield. We're going to correct that right away. I didn't like that it didn't have any defenses there. They've got five. That'll do for now. And even Y Calibro. Whoops. Even Y Calibro is going to need a couple missile bases. And meanwhile. Oh boy. You guys are probably good for a while. <laughs> I, I think we can relocate these guys. Uh, they're probably fit for scrapping, but yeah, let's see what happens. They're so slow. Uh, and we'd recover some money, which would be nice. Anti-matter bomb, thank you. Um... Other people are using neutron blasters, which are kind of on par with the graviton beam. I think they're a 3 to 12. Hard beam's pretty tempting. I've mentioned my affinity for them. A lot of people don't have as good shielding as I do. 
but we'll see. Earth, we're just gonna do one turn bursting like that. At least I'm gonna I'm gonna say it's one turn right now. We'll see where we end up. Probably forgetting things for a while. Something noteworthy will happen, and then excuse you. All right. Sometimes this will happen. The game is the races are all very passive aggressive. Which one use the bomber? Probably not the colony. Oh, you're firing missiles from a colony ship. Super shielded. I hope I can hurt them. Yep. Looks like they only shielded the one. He's mostly there just laying a pick, to be honest. You're done. Okay, almost home free. Is he using torpedoes? I'm not entirely certain. Boom, suck it. Good times. Oh, these are both so good. And so similar in cost. I'll take the exoskeleton though. We've got some potential invasions going on. Oh, to brawl. Where would I be without you? You're a regular rock of Gibraltar. Okay, of course every good system is claimed. I should have known. And now... We held off a clack on invasion. I wonder if they're going to do another bit of dickery. No, we throw everyone at it. These guys are en route. They'll hold the fort down. And I remembered. Take that, YouTube. You didn't believe in me. Nor should you have. Because this planet's not even explored right now. Uh, okay, I'm just going to put on the auto because we're just going to be dropping bombs. Thank goodness they haven't discovered... Hyper V rockets, even. <laughs> okay, what we want to see is a nine. Okay, because I don't think we're going to be able to do it in uh, one turn. Well, maybe. Nope. So close. 15 missile bases, one turn. Be glad you researched Duraloy. Yeah, I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna let them zip back. I wanna hold down Damocles for a little bit longer because if I can only have one of those systems, it's gonna be Damocles. Look at Earth. What a lovely place it is. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. All right. It's just a colony ship. Send those guys in. They're not going to help that much anyway. Brawl will be able to launch an invasion once we officially have scouted it, which isn't yet. Okay, we got this. That was a terrible roll. Okay. Mineral poor, that's fine. The research colony will still be viable. Oh man, who got the money? Not that I've spent any of mine. No, I did not mean to click through. I was already holding the mouse down and then I released it. All right. 
It's probably going to be two turns as well here. Now it says the population is 20 max, but it's probably because the ecosystem has been destroyed. No, we want all of those factories intact. Hello. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't have a non-aggression pact. I do have a lot of missile bases though. All right, we're about to commit genocide. So here's where we confirm that we're on good terms with everybody. We're not even going to renew our trade pacts. All right. Uh, yeah, we're not going to renew our trade pacts just because we want them to look as profitable as possible. A neutron blaster would be nice. I might get it. No, there's no way you're getting robotic controls from me. I would see your empire burn first. We should be able to take this. And I sent maybe more people than I wanted anyway. Perfect. Okay, genocide happened. Okay, we got the... Oh, just the Neutron Blaster. Still pretty cool. I don't know what else I was hoping for. Some fuel cells I wouldn't use. Yeah, so now everybody's a little edgy. Um, so we'll just let things settle for a bit now. You guys gotta clean up your ecosystem. But we've done we've done some good things for the Empire here. I'm gonna hope and pray that we've stabilized it as well. Gonna keep churning out the warships. Um we might have to visit the Bull Rathi. Even though we did just get the NAP with them. Yeah, I mean, that's the only one really worth building. The Energy Pulsar is a tech that gets um, obsoleted, so... Like, ex directly. I mean, like any weapon, but... All right, go send the warships over there. They're probably not long for this world, although they are good for bombing, so maybe. So there's this thing in science, normal science, not science fiction. It's just sort of a general idea that it's not worth sending a spacecraft anywhere or in anything anywhere if it will take longer than 50 years, because usually a better system of propulsion will be invented somewhere in those 50 years. Okay. Yeah, this is fallout from our diplomacy stuff, by which I mean genocide. Yeah, so the idea is somewhere in the... in the 50 years, maybe you'll invent something twice as fast halfway through, in which case you're better off just building that and sending it instead. Okay, do you want to do you want to get yourself a mass driver cannon? This is entirely a move to placate them. Have some have some have some good times. All right. Well, they took the money and ran. I don't blame them. All right, let's see. Let's see if we can survive this diplomatic quagmire we've created. We're the humans, so if we don't have good relations with people, well, we haven't got much of anything then, do we? Oh, good riddance. 
So the problem is with the uh, with the clackons gaining power the way they are, like they have such a base of colonies, they're gonna run away with the game if I don't keep declaring war. Yeah, there you go. Well, if anyone needed it. Yeah, of course. We're unhappy with you. Gotta be very careful or we're gonna end up... Okay, we got to neutral. We are slowly improving. Now is when it's more important than ever to keep the military production going. Don't be... Oh, I didn't realize you were still around. Like, seriously, where is that guy? Purple. Well, they have quite a few. They have quite a few little colonies. Also, what the heck happened to Hercules? Well, it looks like they're already on their way back. What is going on in this galaxy? Oh. I'm gonna prop up the Bulrathi. Uh, that's the one tech I can't give out, I'm sorry. Well, because he's going to trade it with his friends, and then it's going to get all weird. Whoops. Let's take a quick look at all the planets here. Okay, looking good. Yeah, sure. Fly to Antares. We'll have a shakedown cruise, as they call it. Yep. Didn't mean to keep doing that. This always happens, though, and you get some, like, random fortress planets that shouldn't really be that well defended. But whatever. Whatever, right? Also, I think I may have falsely said earlier, like, Hey, that poor planet, it'll be a good research place still. Um, that's not the case. I forgot that detail uh, because everything stems from your production in this game. Everything. So, yeah, the research would be have too. But, you know, we got a lot of people. I'll feel better when I have missile bases there. Okay, we've got some firepower. We've got some one-shot firepower. And I'm just gonna fortify Earth a little bit more here. It's a bit too important, I think. Oh no, someone's going to war with me. Oh, thank goodness. Nobody likes me, I'm gonna lose the vote. Thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. I vote for me, get daved. I was three votes shy of winning. Oh, right, uh, you're the knight. That's from memory, folks. I may have played this game a bit back in the day. Okay, that's good for now. Let's take a look at the old status report. Fleet strength still dead last. Okay. And let's see if we can restore the NAP. Okay, we'll wait a bit longer. I like how he's like, you haven't lived up to past promises. I killed someone else, I mean. Maybe that's exactly what I promised. Mark my words. I make a promise to you, viewers. We shall destroy the Clackons. 
That's my promise. Every single colony, every one you see on that map, gonna, gonna replace the color red with blue. I don't know why they can't just get along, but... Yeesh. Eh, we'll try the Zyro Shield. You know, uh, this is hard sci-fi when they have a piece of equipment called the Zyro Shield. Later on, we had the Lightning Field in Orion 2. I think the Lightning Field's in this one as well, but it's just a, a weaker version or a better version. I forget which. But again, our Deflector Shields are so bloody strong that we might as well uh, switch to something else for a bit. As soon as I get a new weapon, it might be time to look at a huge ship. Yeah, I know that. We need to go to war with someone. Oh, well, can I reach the Elkari? I totally could. And we're already at war. Well, heck! The problem solves itself. Uh, no, we'll keep those ships up there for now. We have enough of the escorts. We might be able to do something here. Hmm. And I do have antimatter bombs. Hmm. I don't think I've set up my spying. Oh, great. Oh, wait, that's a Clackon colony. What do I care? I just assumed because I'd heard of it, it was mine. Well, you know what? Contact keeps breaking. Oh, because they're at war. This war rages on. Man, war never changes. That's what I always say. That's probably Orion. If only I had some scouts. Yeah, sure. I don't think I have any hostile environments, but... Hmm. I wonder if I stand a chance against these guys. For some reason, I think this builds up and becomes a problem. Uh, the colony ship's doing damage to me, but he's gonna run out of ammo soon. Great success, everyone. What happened? No, I will not bomb that colony. But since we're at war... We will send all available ships to that system. This is curious. Are they losing? How would they lose their homeworld? They're superior in every way. Except production. Hmm. What a curious dilemma they have. Also, I hope I picked the Megabolt Cannon for research. That, um, can be good. Alright, can I hit you? 
That's always the issue with those Alcari. They're slippery. No, don't bomb it. We need the colony base intact. I'm still number three. Hey, there we go. Good work, Wakalabro. I did forget you were a hostile environment. Trying to find a way to connect that to his puns. I'm no fan of those. Huzzah! Andrium armor. It's a little bit better. Yeah, sure. Let's grab it. Yeah, what am I talking about? That's fantastic. All right, good news, everyone. We're grabbing Andrium armor. Oh boy. Boy, they did not, they were not prepared. All right, and we have a pretty good population base actually, so that's a good sign. Hmm. I guess we just hold down the fort there for a bit. And conveniently, that gave me a beautiful segue to the rest of their empire and we can keep my war machine running. It's basically the plot of Starship Troopers. Would you like to know more? Now let's see if we can hold it. All right, now I can see why you would want this particular system back, but I've grown attached to it. I'm going to assume this is the bomber. Oh, that's cool. We still haven't lost one. Oh, one hit point. Good riddance to you. I don't want to destroy you. Okay, there we go. It felt kind of good to destroy a huge ship. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Maybe we should make one. Let's take a look at our tech situation. Got stargates coming through. Those will be kind of nice, but they're neither here nor there. Force fields. Don't think we need the Zyro shield because we have all that. It'll be nice for the, like the space improvements we're gonna get with these breakthroughs. When Megabolt Cannon comes, that'd be really good for fighting Alkari too, because of the bonus to its accuracy. Oh shoot. I might ship some more people down there. I'm gonna ship more people down there. We need to get that population maxed. Stat, post haste, pardon me. I didn't mean to use such slang. We had enough firepower to shoot down all their transports, which is what I call good news. All right, I'm a little nervous for this. Yeah, you might say it's ridiculous, but it might be impossible for us to land an entire a hit ever. This is like the best tech in the game, so we're gonna get it. It's very, very nice. High energy focus does something totally different in subsequent Orion games, but yeah, I'm okay with it. I'll allow it. You know, I was trash talking my start, but we did get the one good planet you need to have any viability. Like I've had some starts in this game where like they just didn't have the minimum values really tweaked properly, I would say. So I've had some starts where there's, oh, I don't know, three planets in range, two are uninhabitable in one manner or another, and the last one is perfect. Um, the last one is like a, 
you know, population cap 35 or something like that. And another one will be like radiated. And there's not really anything you can do in that situation. It's, it's pretty much all over. All right, time to hope that we can shoot down all of those transports because those Bulrathi could wreck the place. All right, the game's afoot. That's a good sign. That's a Gatling laser, by the way. Okay, things are going pretty well. They can be hard to hit. Kaboom. All right, good. Very good. Because our, uh, our battle computers aren't fantastic, really. Man, it would be really nice to get a Stargate there. I'm going to build one at Earth. There we go. We'll start with that. Because Earth right now is basically my main shipyard. Can't think of any others. I mean, Beta Seti is kind of an interesting front. Let's let's get something going there. I'm just gonna have this episode go a little longer because it's probably my last one I'm gonna record for the night. But I'm having a really good time. I don't want it to end. Yeah, the game the game holds up. It's interesting. For like a whole bunch of playthroughs, I think Mu 2 holds up even better. But in small doses, um, like because Mu 2 has some depth, but this one, I mean, no one's figured out how to replicate some of the nuances to the gameplay because it just constantly presents you with just interesting stuff to pay attention to, which is not always the case. Don't ask me why, but it isn't. All right, what I really want is to get, you know, all the factories built here so we can get some defenses. Earth's got a Stargate, everyone. Yeah, I'll churn out, churn out some warships. You know what, we have potential bombers here. I think I can officially scrap the destroyer model. It's like using Hyper-V rockets or something. So let's get rid of that. We also haven't coloni got colonized in a while. All right. We have Mark IV robotic controls and five coming. That's a bazillion factories. Oh no. Oh. No. I await your apology, thank you. Also, let's check out the report on them real quick. 14 years old. Sheesh. Inertial stabilizers with them? Yeah. Th I thought I cranked that. All right. Now it's cranked. Yeah, steal everything they've got, man. And we'll switch to sabotaging later. Ursa could be producing ships just as well as Earth by the time it gets fully industrialized as well. That's important to note. Hmm. Now we're gonna have to wait for someone to colonize Nordia. Oh my goodness. That's a scary fleet. That's the fleet of someone who works out, Joe. Okay, we can ship them down. They'll get there in one turn and they'll superficially defend it anyway. I think we're okay. Got our Zyro shield. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's gonna be forever 
but we'll get such a high tech bump. Oh boy, what a mess. This place has been uh, biologically weaponed. People vote for Dave. The Bullrathy are losing, that's... Oh boy, they nearly did it. That's just mind-blowing to me. All right, am I at war with someone you're friends with? No. Oh, what a loser. Alliance with the Clackons. I'm hanging out with the biggest kid in school. All right, do you want to do, do tradesies? Oh, sure, waste your production on Stargates. I don't mind. This is how they get a super fleet. You know the computer has a propensity to split their fleets up, so... Mm, stinger missiles would be nice. Yeah, I'll give you an ECM jammer. Heck yeah! Super accurate missiles, it could come up. More importantly, I have a hard time with weapons or manufacturing, so... Yay! And... Oh boy. Yeah, I already gave out Stargates. Yes, I do. It is really difficult to take out a planet with a class 10 shield. Um... Yeah, I already gave that thing out too. So we're working on Andrium armor, so I'm a little hesitant to get Zordium. Yeah, sure, that's a useless tech. I have a couple useless techs I can throw out. I got the Merculate missiles for the record because I forgot whether Stinger missiles were better or not, so... That's all that was, if you were wondering. If it seemed an indefensible decision. I was pretty sure Stinger missiles were better. Yeah, we've got some nice options now. Actually, I'm really surprised I haven't designed a huge ship yet. We have all the, all the promising makings of a good huge ship coming. Oh, a Megabolt. That's what I'm waiting for. Now I know. I just made a huge mistake, Michael. Uh, they're gonna run. The nice thing about impulse engines, or if I had high energy focus, I could do this too. Um, you can pick someone off before they run. The Alkari are really good at propulsion, so I'm gonna stick to trying to rob those. Uh, I'll just get this one out of the way. And I gotta send people there quickly. And again, we can have an awkward problem very soon if someone else sends an invasion fleet and successfully invades, like the Bullrathi are doing right now. We actually might have just instigated war with the Bullrathi. The old curveball. I love it, you love it, we all love it. Right, that's fine, I'm not scared of you. I'm not super scared. Well, there's a lot of them. No, we're probably okay. Oh boy. No, we got a real fight on our hands. Okay. This could wreck my fleet. Oh boy. I can't take those losses. And so what was happening is the uh, nasty green crap was uh, debuffing my ships, basically. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was really bad. Oh, and they destroyed the colony. Great. Well, all of that was stupid. All right, I'm getting the shield built and then taking my ball and going home. Friggin' clack-ons. Never trust a clack-on, that's what I always say. Alright, let's go see if we can take Nordia. We get one shot at redeeming this. Oh! I'm not messing with those Lancers again. They hit me pretty hard there. And the fact is, my warships... Uh-oh. All right, everybody. Next time. Oh, hey, class 10 shield. Yoink. Next time.